Our video series are about teaching you technique using deliberate practice methods that I've developed over the last 20 years. Each video is like I'm coaching you one-on-one. -on -one. Today's video category is swimming technique and I'm going to show you a drill that I've developed many years ago called a fingertip wall drill. First of all though that we want to talk about what it does and it teaches a high elbow position at the catch except you don't need to be in the water to do it. In fact it's better not to be in the water to do it. What we want you to do is to develop a anchoring point, a position out front in your stroke where that you are extending the purchase uh, time or distance with each stroke. In other words, by having a high elbow, we are leveraging, we are pulling water further away and further out front than if you were to pull with a straight arm. Straight arm pull means that your uh, thrust will not be at its maximal uh, capacity until down here. If I do the same stroke and I get the high elbow position, I've actually extended the amount of distance that I'm going to be able to grab and anchor my hand and uh, pull my body forward over that anchor point. It also helps with the symmetry and what I refer to as the continuum. That is, there shouldn't be much delay and certainly no real gliding with the stroke. We see from time to time a lot of swimmers who will hit here and hold and glide and then glide and then glide and while when doing a drill that is uh, fine but in regular swimming or competitive swimming what we want is we want to purchase and anchor our hand in a continuous manner so there is not much decelerator deceleration due to a glide uh, effort so the anchoring is quick but positioned first not propulsive so we don't want you to put your hand in and try to really yank fast what we want you to do is to position quickly position that hand and forearm pointing downward and backward with the forearm and hand virtually in the same same plane same line so it helps with uh, executing this drill and all of these uh, drills and all sports is is to develop really good tempo and symmetry in your movements and that by that I mean that the left side and the right side are virtually the same that there are few deviations in the time and the tempo and the movements between one side and the other and again as I like to emphasize in most of our technique coaching tips do these uh, drills and technique uh, points at a low intensity, a zone one, zone two out of six, really light and deliberate, lots of oxygen and a lot of emphasis on, emphasis on executing the technique that we're developing. You know, perhaps I'll take a, a moment here and talk about ball throwing as it relates to uh, tempo and symmetry. For example, if I'm if I'm swinging this ball going to toss it to this side or to this side, you can see that I'm pretty much just using my upper, upper arms, my arms to do that. And the comparison is to do it this way where I'm using my hips, my shoulders, everything is turning from the left side to the right side, left side, right side, whereas there is good tempo and symmetry and a collection of all the muscles, the major muscles in the body to make that turn to this side and then back to this side as opposed to this way and this way where you're just using your arms. And we'll see that in swimmers too where they're 
just swimming with their arms in this fashion versus a rotation, hip down, elbow down, rotation, left side, right side, good symmetry and tempo and time and movement from the left side to the right side. So when you're swimming, you always want to uh, incorporate the drills that uh, we're talking about with symmetry, with balance and uh, tempo. And what, that's what we're really referring to, is to trying to have uh, both sides of your body being exactly the same. Um, a nice tool, and I'll do a video on this use uh, um, uh, in another time, but is the Finnis Tempo Trainer. is a great tool to help with symmetry. Is it, you can put it under your swim cap and it'll beep on a certain interval so that it'll go beep, beep, beep. So what'll happen is, is that you'll hear the beep and then in order to have the same tempo that the, this hand will hit here, but this hand will hit at that same time. So tempo symmetry is all very, very important. Well, let me get to the drill. I have a tendency to kind of get off in coaching you and that's what this is about. I uh, like to teach you as much of the ingredients so that it's just not some dry drill. So what we like to do, and I'm going to have to have you use your imagination here, but imagine that there's a, a wall here or a sheet of glass, and I'm standing on half an arm's length away from that sheet of glass. So what we're going to do is we're going to raise our hands above your head, and you're going to place your fingertips right on that sheet of glass right here. And you're standing. You can do this on a wall. So if I were to turn and face the screen here, I would put my fingertips right there on the wall. So again, it's here, overhead, fingertips. So now we have a level uh, forearm and hand. Fingertips are right on the wall and we drop your hands nice and slow, but you're going to see that the forearm and hand are virtually level. And when you get right about here, this is where you'll stop. And this would be ref what you would do in swimming because we, we really don't want to push too deep in the stroke, more, of a, more or less an exit point right about here with your hands, fingertips pointing down or towards this glass wall and pushing the water backwards. So if you do another repetition here, fingertips against this surface, they're nice and level. In, or, in order for them to stay against this uh, glass, they have to stay level. Can't go like so or like this. They have to be level. So nice and level. And what you see there is this open armpit that I've referred to in other videos. So if I come back here, and I come in my swimming position, there I have it. I have that nice high elbow open armpit position that you're, you're taught through this drill. So what you could do is that every time, uh, while, maybe while you're changing, uh, before you come out on the deck or when you get out on the deck, you could do 10 or 15 repetitions of the fingertip wall drill and then what you do is you take it into the pool by imagining a sheet of glass under you right on the black line and that your hands need your fingertips need to just drape scrape that tip of that glass on each pole so it's really the same well, I want to thank you for watching at the Online Learning Center, and I know this drill will help you make every movement better than the last. I'm Coach Mark Evans. Thanks for watching.